And we're going to move on to some other questions that they may ask you. So in these type of questions, guys, too, they may ask you for the lower class boundary or they may ask you for the upper class boundary. Cool? cool. And what in the world does that mean? So let's look at this question. Let's go back to the same question here. Um, they give us some information here, guys. This is the table that they give us. It says here the cumulative frequency distribution of the volume of petrol needed to fill up the tanks of 150 different cars, vehicles is shown below. They give us some information in the table, right? And it says here for the class 21 to 30, which is the second class, class two, which is 21 to 30, determine the lower class boundary. Now, what in the world does that mean, guys? What in the heck does that mean? So basically, guys, I'm going to show you what the lower class boundary is. So remember, this is a class 21 to 30. So basically, guys, the lower class boundary is the 21 plus the 20 here. So it's going to be 20 plus 21 divided by 2. That's the lower class boundary. Cool. So it's kind of simple. Let me just show you what I mean. Let me put upper class boundary down here. Yes, so remember the class is 21 to 30. And remember the lower limit for the class, guys, is 21. The low number for the class is 21, right? So they want the lower class boundary. How do we find that? It's always this 21 and this number here. And it's usually divided by two. So we end up with 21 plus 20 over two, and that would give us 20.5. Cool? Yes, Rosalie is here, good, good. Definitely want Rosalie to be here. Cool, so that would give us the lower class boundary. Cool. So the next thing guys, suppose they ask us for the upper class boundary instead of lower class boundary, right? For the same class, 21 to 30, what would that be? Well, basically guys, it's very similar to the lower class boundary. Remember the lower limit for the class is 21 and the upper limit for the class is 30. So to find the upper class boundary, guys, we'll have to use the 30 and the 31. And we'll add 30 plus 31 and we'll put it over two. And that would give us 61 over two, which is the same thing as 30.5. Cool. So the lower class boundary would be 20.5 and the upper class boundary would be 30.5. Cool. So another hint for these two guys, um, when it comes to the lower Sorry. class boundary and upper class boundary, usually it's 0.5. Like usually the answer is 0.5, um, meaning it's it's usually definitely 0.5. And I'll soon show you what I mean as well. So the lower class boundary is 20.5 and the upper class boundary is 30.5 for this class, 21 to 30. But there's usually a 0.5 in the mix and it usually is there because you add the values and divide it by two. Cool. That's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.